At Tehran's Azadi Arena, under the gaze of Iran's supreme leader, the showdown fans were waiting for. Iran taking on the U.S., two countries whose governments are bitter rivals, locking horns in the Wrestling World Cup. The atmosphere is electric here, but here's what's remarkable. Despite the fierce competition on the map, there's no sign of bad blood between Iranians and Americans. And here's how you know, right after their own wrestlers, these Iranian fans are cheering loudest for this man, American gold medal winner, Jordan Burroughs. It was, it was pretty cool. You know, every time I step out there, once they see me, they're excited to see me, you know, cheering my name, screaming my name, and uh, giving me praise. It's pretty cool. True to form, Burroughs dominates his match. But in the end, Team Iran is king. Final score, Iran 6, U.S. 1. After each match, a show of mutual respect, something Washington and Tehran have rarely shown since 1980 when they broke off diplomatic ties. After, after. What you're looking at is Iranian fans right now chasing after Jordan Burroughs like he's a rock star on the entire USA team as they get on the bus. All these guys just love Jordan Burroughs. They love the fact that the American team is here. And this is the power of sports. Look at this. this is the... <laughs> I love you. There is little love in the U.S. for the Iranian government. In a Gallup poll last year, one in three Americans said Iran is enemy number one. Iran is still viewed by a lot of Americans as a dangerous place. Sure. Does that message match with what you see here and all the love you guys get? No, I, I tell you, athletes, right, you go to lactic acid, we, we work, we train together. It enables us to engage with each other. This was Team USA's 10th visit to Iran. Each visit stirs speculation that sport might help build bridges between the two countries. When we got here, they had their arms wide open to our wrestling program and to Americans because they realized that it's a better world with us together. Well, if wrestlers could get together, anyone could get together. <laughs> so far, the exception to that wrestler's rule has been Washington and Tehran. During our visit to Tehran, the Iranian government's deep-seated suspicion for the international media was evident. A few hours into our shoot, security officials confiscated our videotape and erased interviews with both U.S. and Iranian wrestlers saying we were not allowed to ask questions about politics. We ended up doing the interviews over again. It was a reminder that U.S.-Iran relations remain very complicated. Reza Sayah, CNN, Tehran.